Hey everyone, welcome to another Binder video. Today we're taking a look at Fates Collide, one of the greatest sets starting out because it's got our boy Shuckle. Uh, the set itself is it's good. It's uh, not the greatest set of all time, but it does have the greatest or one of the greatest Pokemon at the very beginning, uh, which is a rare occurrence. Oh, that's a Sui artwork as well, which is pretty neat. I probably should have recognized it, uh, but it's, uh, it's hard to tell. There's quite a uh, there's quite a mix in these X and Y sets. We got the uh, Snivy line here, Deerling, uh, non hollow Moltres, which is always uh, weird to see. On the first page there, it looks like we do have some reverses on the back. We have Fennekin, Fennekin breaks in, Delphox. Really cool Delphox. Um, there's nothing like a, a good hollow rare when it has a lot of stuff that, uh, that kind of stands out and almost makes it like 3D 3D effect uh, by using the hollow on certain areas and not on others. We have two really cool Almanites down on the bottom here, very different styles. This one's absolutely amazing. Not super familiar with the uh, the artist behind it, but uh, that's a uh, Hasuno, I think it says. Very cool, very like realistic, dank, dingy. Uh, looks like an underwater. I don't know if this is like Aquapolis or some kind of like underwater cave and or sea. Certainly interesting. Stands out for sure. We got the. Reverses of the Fennekin line here. Really cool to see another starter in the in the artwork there. Looks like we have both the Ammonites on the backside too. Now, what do we got here? We have an Omastar break. So we're uh, continuing off those break sets. Uh, I don't think Generations Generations had breaks. I don't think it did. Uh, but we're back into the regular sets, so I guess this is where where they would be. We got a Kamiya Rotom popping off. Unfortunately, I don't have my, my Rotom shirt on. The uh, Duosian. Uh, oh, no, those are on the next page. We got coughing here. Try to, <laughs> try to watch the, uh, the screen uh, rather than uh, the book itself. So it's a little deceiving on cards that might be on the next page. Those are missing quite a few there. We got Weezing Mew, really cool Mew with the hollow foil there. Is it like the uh, the leaves or whatever? But it's also dark, so the foiling kind of gets to be more vibrant in around them. Kind of gives a nice little light effect. Spoink there. I don't know if I've seen a Spoink card that's really truly amazing. Grumpig Gathita. I guess there's probably not that many Spoink cards in general. Uh, Reuniclus, probably one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. I don't know. I would say probably top 10. Uh, I don't know why I like him. He's just kind of like a cute, cuddly jelly. Jelly dude. Cell Pokemon. I don't know if it says on there. I guess he's the multiplying Pokemon. So he's like... So this would be right up uh, PFM's alley with the Cell Pokemon, the Mitosis Pokemon, and the multiplying Pokemon. Very cute and or clever. By the Pokemon Company, and then it looks like we're just powering through this one on the back side since we have all the reverses. Marowak there doing a dance, that's pretty cool. We've got like the uh, the rocks flying around him. Kabuto, I really like the uh, the two fossil options from Gen 1, and I don't know if I really have a favorite, probably Ammonite if I had to absolutely choose, but uh. Both of them are, are amongst my favorites from the from the first gen. Kabuto, Marowak, Levitar, Double Levitar, Riolu. I'm almost kind of sick of seeing Riolu in the uh, the new anime. I wish that he would just evolve already, get it over with, give the people their Lucario, all those Lucario fans their Lucario, and uh, get it over with. It's almost like uh, they're trying to give 
Pikachu a break or something like that. A couple Zygarde's. This is really cool. So uh, it doesn't say on there, but the, he has different forms. And then we have Zygarde EX. So yeah, it looks. I don't know what was going on at the very uh, very beginning there, but it seems like we do have the majority of the set. For some reason, we're missing a lot of the the early cards. We got the Umbreon EX at the top there, jumping out of the frame, doing its best Gold Star impression. Tyranitar, it's a really cool one. There's a lot of good Tyranitar art in general. I like guess it's easy to make them look cool and angry. Uh, Lucario down at the bottom there, the Alakazam in the background, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was part of the anime or something. I know a spore will uh, will mention it if it was. I can't remember. Maybe you went up against one. There's got to be a reason for that Alakazam or that Mega Alakazam in the background. Whimsicott down the bottom, looking extra cute. So maybe that's why I like this set so much. It's got a Whimsicott as well. I don't think it has a Mawile. No Mawile. Kingdra EX. Meowth. Kangaskhan. Really cool Aerodactyl there. Making... Pterodactyl noises. Snorlax having a nap. Kamiya style. I don't know if it's just a bunch of people that are kind of stuck on the other side of them trying to can't pass. Snorlax style. They need a poker flute apparently. This Lugia is really cool. That the the underwater you see like the, the mouth bubbles. Super super cool. We got a Lugia break down there on the bottom left. Kangaskhan, Meowth. Yeah, we're doing uh, pretty good for reverses here. I meant to check with uh, Ryan to see if he had any that I needed. Looks like we're missing uh, a couple cards here. One being an Audino EX, and I'm not sure what the other is. We got some Minchinos here, a Chinchino, and then an Alakazam Spirit Link for our Mega Alakazam uh, that's coming up later. Here we go, Altaria, Spirit Link. Oh, so it's probably an Altaria that I was missing there. I'm assuming it must be an Altaria. Uh, ben Spoon. Our trainers, lots of trainers. For all you TCG fans, here's another one of those double-sided cards where you play it down as a stadium and uh, whichever side is pointed towards the person uh, that's the effect that it gives them fairy garden pretty cool uh, I don't know if I use that in my mobile EX makeshift deck I think I, I think I might have um, just to have a stadium I don't think there was a better there might not have been a better option I can't really remember though I remember seeing it we got power memory here for uh, Pokemon tool for Zygarde EX uh, to give him another attack which is sort of a neat neat mechanic we got our fossils last making a comeback some more trainers, so many trainers in this set. Very uh, TCG trainer heavy. We got Glaceon EX. That uh, Team Rocket's handiwork is pretty cool though, actually. Glaceon EX Full Art, Alakazam EX Full Art. Man, these, and these Full Arts were like absolutely dirt cheap at one point. Shauna, so we got some reverses on that side. There's our Mega Alakazam EX full air with the spoons around them. Umbreon EX full air. Very cool. I think that's probably the most expensive card in the set. Uh, Genesect. Mega Altaria. Kingdra Altaria. Uh, here we have Team Rocket's handiwork. 
and then as secret rare Ayo Kazam EX. I don't know. I think maybe there's a secret rare Mega. I thought there was two secret rare Ayo Kazams, but I could be wrong. Could have that mixed up. Couple. We got a Fennekin or Brixen. Uh, I don't know if there's a third Pokemon League promo that I'm missing. And then we have a Cracked Ice Hollow version of that uh, Lugia that we were talking about earlier with the uh, blown bubbles underwater. Reggie Rock EX Full Art. This was from one of those premium collections. Uh, it's got the A there for alternate. Same with the Zagard EX Full Art. And that's all we have for that one, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. See you tomorrow for the next one.